Mad slashers on the loose in New York City. We're living in a crazy world, and, and no one's immune. Three random slashings in three weeks terrorizing the city. The maniacs slicing the faces of the innocent, putting people on edge, and leaving blood on the streets. This vicious attack in Chelsea captured on surveillance video. The young woman says the man sneaked up and slashed her face with a razor. The NYPD quickly arrests the man, 41-year-old Karee Bazemore. Anything to say? Any defense you want to offer up for yourself? Bazemore is charged with felony assault and criminal possession of a weapon. He's a career criminal with more than 30 arrests, including grand larceny and forcible touching, in which he allegedly squeezed the woman's butt. Those cases were all thrown out. But his sister tells our New York affiliate, PIX11, he's mentally ill and needs psychiatric help. We tried to get help for him and why nobody didn't, you know, why did it have to come to this? He has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. These people released him. They keep releasing him. Every time we send him in there, they release him back out. Could Amanda's horrific attack have been avoided? Just days before Bazemore was in jail, arrested after he allegedly sucker punched a woman in Greenwich Village. But incredibly, he was released on his own recognizance after Judge Lori Peterson set no bail. Judge Peterson? Crime Watch Daily at the New York Criminal Courts building, demanding answers from Judge Peterson, who seemed to ignore the prosecutor's warning he was a high risk for flight. Why did you let a violent criminal back on the streets? Peterson sure wasn't happy to see our cameras. We followed her up to the courthouse door. She turns and goes inside, refusing to answer any questions. Across the bridge in Queens, another slasher on the loose. The NYPD releasing this video of a man running away after slashing a teenage girl with a utility knife. The girl was on her way to school when the guy jumped at her. She's slashed in her face uh, twice, uh, once from ear to her throat, to the middle of her throat, and another part of the face as well. But this story gets more bizarre. The girl's home was vandalized, the family's car egged. One of the vandals left a note telling her she was targeted by mistake and another girl living there was the intended target. And now this surveillance video shows the newest slashing suspect walking away after the NYPD says he cut a guy in the East Village in broad daylight. It's an epidemic. No one knows when it will end. As for Bazemore, he remains in custody and is undergoing psychiatric evaluation. His sister has this message for his alleged victim. So feel sorry for the young lady because she honestly didn't deserve it. But